van and the pickup van took us to a point that was just a kilometer away from my house. Uh, I could have taken that point but that didn't show up in the in the boarding list. So from this event one thing that we can understand is that life when it wants to take you for a ride it takes you for a ride. <laughs> there are no two ways about it. So play along have fun and most importantly stay positive. Hello hello Hi. Uh, Tulkan Tamban Kovil and there was nothing those days it was a small temple under the fig tree uh, they're constructing this with a lot of passion and a lot of love I feel I really feel happy to see them grow it was uh, initially very painful because I couldn't see the little one cry but in no time she started playing as if nothing happened <laughs> we are at uh, Chennai Metro going to Egmore we are going to board the train, the train is right here and uh, we will reach Ra not Rameshwaram but Mandapam a place called Mandapam, it's 30 minutes away from Rameshwaram uh, by 7, 7 in the morning, 7.30 Today we reached Mandapam railway station and from here Another half hour to Rameshwaram and there are buses outside as you can see there are buses and taxis available outside so we will be checking which one is the fastest and feasible route so we hired an auto from here uh, he charged us 450 rupees from uh, Mandapam to Rameshwaram uh, others were trying to trying to exploit us by charging us a bomb but this gentleman looked a little genuine and also he charged us a reasonable price so we hired him instead guys we are on Pambam bridge adjacent to the two railway tracks that you can see uh, in the video uh, because of the maintenance work that's going on uh, we had to get down at Mandapam otherwise the train would have gone till Rameshwaram So this is the hotel we are staying at, uh, Sri Ambika Lodge. Uh, it is right adjacent to uh, the temple, as you can see the west gate over there. Uh, the hotel charged us about uh, 1200 rupees and it was a decent place to stay at. So friends, we, are, we have taken shower, starting for the temple now. I am not taking anything more, I just have my watch and uh, the wallet and I wrapped it neatly in a uh, in a plastic cover so that water doesn't go in uh, what you see here is the west gate from here you can uh, this is the main entrance you can go to the Gopuram from here directly but uh, we'll be taking a, a dip in the Agni Tirtham which is exactly on the other side which is uh, at the east gate to give you an aerial gl glimpse of uh, Rameshwaran temple uh, this is how it looks from top uh, there are four gates to it, east, west, north, south. The one that you were looking at a little while ago was at the west, was the west gate. Uh, and uh, right opposite in the picture, the one at top near, next to the uh, shore is the east gate. So we are headed towards east gate. Uh, and for you to take a dip in the 22 holy wells, you have to use the north gate, which is on the left side of the picture. Uh, so this is the east gate that you see, uh, this is still under construction, uh, there is some construction going on, uh, bang opposite to that, uh, go, the, this lane goes to Agni Tirtham. So I took a dip in the Holy Tirtham, uh, when, when you come here please be a little care cautious and careful uh, because uh, right uh, quite adjacent to that there are a lot of Pure Puja Karakrama that happens here, uh, the, the final uh, rituals, the last rites. Uh, so people usually avoid go taking a dip there because that you know you know what happens there right <laughs> otherwise uh, this area is quite clean and neat he has done with the dubki now we are going to the temple uh, when you are, when you come here please ensure you take one of these cans so that you can fill some water uh, the, the, the holy water for your home 
So with holy water, I meant the water from the wells that inside the temple. People usually don't take the water from Agni Tirtha home, but from the 22 wells. Uh, so when you're going to temple, there are a couple of things that you need to keep in mind. One, you can't go in drenched clothes. So right after the holy dip in Agni Tirtha, or even the uh, dip in the 22 wells, you can't go immediately into the Gopuram. Uh, so you have to carry a pair of dried and uh, neat clothes uh, so you can change it either in the temple outside uh, or you can go back to your hotel change and come back point number two is uh, photography is not allowed uh, and mobile phones are not allowed inside so you can lock your mobile phones and other uh, uh, other belongings outside so after this we went inside the temple we got a very nice darshan and i felt really happy getting the darshan uh, darshan especially on the last somvar of uh, shravan mas uh, so a little information about the holy uh, tirthams that you have here so this is the longest corridor that you can see uh, in any of the temples in india and uh, these are some glimpses of the uh, of the wells, the 22 wells that I have put for you. This is how it looks from the inside. So when you go there, there, there are people who can guide you. It char they charge you about 25 rupees if you go alone or by yourself. If not, if you want to take a help on uh, be in a group, uh, there's another nominal charge of 150 or so. So you can uh, pay that and uh, you can take the service. Uh, so I have prepared a list of uh, 22 wells uh, and uh, and its benefits for you you might want to freeze the screen and go through it or might want to take a screenshot and uh, save it for later use uh, the theatre timings are from uh, 5 30 in the morning to 12 p.m and it opens again at 3 30 in the evening and goes till uh, 6 p.m uh, there are 22 different theatres and you can look at what uh, benefits do each one of these have or give you uh, you might not want to miss the last two. Sarva Tirtham gives you the benefit of all the Tirthams combined. And Kodi Tirtham is an auspicious Tirtham where uh, Lord Krishna himself got freed from the killing of uh, uh, his evil uncle, uh, Kans, Mama Kans. Uh, you, all of you must definitely be aware of it. So these are uh, certain Tirtham information. Uh, one more uh, Tirdham that most people come here for is the Brahma Hatya Vimochana Tirdham, which is Tirdham number 13, uh, as you can see on the screen. So this is the list that I have prepared for you. Uh, you can, you might want to take a screenshot or go through it later. Uh, and this being, uh, you know, one of the Uttarlingas in a very prominent place, place for Hindus, a lot of people from across the nation uh, happen to come here. And in terms of uh, food you don't have to worry because you can see food from various cultures be it uh, agarwal style gujarati style rajasthani marwadi uh, bengali southern northern so all kind of cuisine and also stays you can get uh, you can look at uh, you probably inquire to you know the uh, you, you can probably inquire the charges also and see how how you can stay in those places so I preferred having South Indian breakfast. So I had uh, idli and vada. The idli and chutney tasted okay, a little above average. Uh, I wasn't disappointed, nor I was quite, you know, greatly surprised. But what I was greatly surprised at with was the coffee, the filter coffee, mesmerizing. It was amazing. Uh, so young that I ended up having two cups of coffee instead of one. <laughs> so when you come down to uh, Rameshwaram and if you're a great fan of filter coffee, please don't miss this. So after the temple and uh, food, we uh, took another auto ride to Dhanushkodi. Uh, they charged about 900 rupees. We bargained a little bit. And uh, there are a lot of beautiful sites that I had come across. But this is one of those beautiful sites that I was taken aback by. Very beautiful sight to behold. So if there is one more site after the temple, of course, uh, that I like the most is uh, definitely this. It's a beautiful sight to behold. You might want to have a look at it for yourself and let me know how you liked it.
So guys, uh, this temple is on the way to Dhanush Kodi. Yes, the reason for the very establishment of uh, Rameshwaram temple is to wash off the Brahma Hatya Dosh of Lord Rama, as you all must be already aware. Uh, so after the killing of Ravan, uh, Lord Ram uh, performed Raja Vishayakum on Vibhishan. So this is the place where that event took place. Uh, so, so this is on our way to Dhanush Kodi. You might want to have a look at this when you come down to Rameshwaram. Uh, so the Ottowala Bhaiya, he told us a lot of uh, stories uh, about, you know, especially the haunted stories about Dhanush Kodi. Uh, there seems to be a lot of, you know, uh, evil spirits around or ghosts around. Uh, I, I don't know much about it. I don't want to believe, neither I want to take any, uh, you know, I, I, nor, nor I want to explore such things but yeah just you might just want to be a little cautious and beware so there is a fantastic view of the indian ocean here and on the other side that you have just seen that's bay of bengal you can see the difference in the water color and the water meets there that's the sangam of two oceans And from this point, Sri Lanka is just 18 kilometers. Hi friends, the last Somvar of the Shravan Mass, the Shravan Somvar, uh, visit to Rameshwaram has been successfully completed. Uh, we are now heading for the train. Uh, we'll be checking out in few minutes and the train is at 8.50 from here to Arakonam, from here to Chennai. We'll reach Chennai in the morning and from there we'll take another train to my sister's house. Uh, the trip was a success, uh, the darshan was very pleasant and the stay was a little hectic but uh, uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it, I am sure you did as well. In case you have any questions uh, about Rameshwaram, please feel free to leave a comment, I will see if I can take those. And uh, uh, please like, share and subscribe and I uh, will uh, see you in the next video, until then have fun, au revoir.
so this actually is a sangam of two oceans indian ocean and arabian ocean uh, i don't know what happened to bay of bengal look <coughs> sir uh, so there is uh, the auto driver showed us some good places around and also some haunted and eerie places he also narrated a couple of uh, horror stories to us uh, related to the uh, the legend of danish kodi being haunted uh, so i don't know how much to believe in those i don't know whether they are true or no uh, nevertheless uh, i would don't want to explore those <laughs> nor i would recommend any one of you to uh, so yeah just enjoy the sight and uh, take all uh, uh, great <coughs> cherished memories along uh, so guys that's about the trip after this so guys that's about the trip after this we went to my sister's house and from there to chennai from there to uh, hyderabad so guys that's about the trip uh, so guys that's about the trip from here we went to chennai uh, so guys uh, that's about the trip from here uh, we took a train to chennai from there to my sister's house and back to hyderabad uh, the trip was quite fruitful although there were little ups and downs that you guys already are aware of but it was quite eventful and i thoroughly enjoyed it i hope you did also uh, in case you have any questions about rameshwaram uh, please feel free to text in the comment section i'll see if i can take up those questions uh, and please don't forget to uh, like share and subscribe all of you have fun until my next video uh, have a great life. Uh, so all of you have fun i'll see you in my next video until then uh, so guys that's about the trip after this we went to chennai and uh, from there to my sister's house and back to hyderabad uh, the the trip was quite eventful i thoroughly enjoyed it uh, there were a little ups and downs uh, but uh, i that you must the trip was quite eventful i thoroughly enjoyed it and the darshan was very pleasant and uh, so was a couple you know couple of sites that i so were the couple of you know beautiful sites uh, to behold <coughs> uh, so guys that's about the trip after this we went to chennai and from there to my sister's house and back to hyderabad uh, so guys that's about the trip abhi acha nu apis na ha so guys that's about the trip after this we went to chennai and from there uh, back to hyderabad <coughs> uh, so guys that's about the trip after this we went to chennai from there uh, to sister's house and back to hyderabad is a double h number so guys that's about the trip so guys that's about the trip from there from here we went to chennai and from there to my sister's house and back to hyderabad the trip was quite eventful and pleasant the darshan was amazing and uh, so were a few beautiful sights that we got to look at uh, in rameshwaram in case you have any questions uh, about rameshwaram please feel free to leave a comment i'll see if i can take those and uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe and uh, please like share and subscribe and uh, uh, i'll see you in the next video until then have fun au revoir